So it's in your book. This is section 5-2, number 2. It gives you side A is 7, side C is 9, angle B is 34. So it, you kind of want to identify the triangle first. You're given a side, an angle, and a side. And identifying them is going to come into play later. But it's side, angle, side. I'm going to use the law of cosines. And I'm going to take the side opposite the given angle. So that's going to be B. And it is important, capital letter for measure of an angle, lowercase letter, length of a side, opposite that given angle. So this is side B, this is angle B. So I'm going to actually write a different form of the law of cosines. So B is going to be right here. B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine of B. And it's pretty easy to figure it out because whatever side this is, this is the angle opposite it. These two sides always correspond to these two sides. Right? So there's a third way to write this equation. So C squared is equal to what? What do you think? A squared plus B squared minus 2 AB cosine of C. Cosine of C. So there are three variations, but the thing to remember, this side, this angle correspond, these two sides correspond to these two sides. Okay? So I'm using this equation right here. So I have B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2 A C cosine of B, 34 degrees. Four variables in the equation. I have three of the four. I plug them in. In degree mode on my calculator. I go cosine of 34 times 9 times 7 times negative 2 plus 9 squared plus 7 squared and I get 25.5. So B squared is 25.5. Square root of both sides. And I get B is equal to 5. And that's how easy it is to find a fourth piece of a non-right triangle. So now I want to find angle A. I'm still going to use the law of cosines. Can I erase this part? I'm going to use the law of cosines to find angle A. So if I'm looking for angle A, I'm going to take the side opposite it. So 7 squared equals the other leg squared plus the other leg squared minus 2. These two sides, 5, 9, cosine of the angle opposite the side, cosine of angle A. Four unknowns, I have three of them, I plug them in, I solve for A. Now I'm solving an equation. So I have to isolate the variable A. So I go 7 squared equals minus 5 squared minus 9 squared. So this is negative 57 equals negative 2, 5, 9, cosine of A. Isolate my variable A and divide both sides by this number. So negative 57 divided by the quantity, negative 2 times 5 times 9. So cosine of A is equal to 0.63. Store that value on my calculator. How do you get A by, my, by itself here, Amy? Um, inverse cosine. Yeah, I take the inverse cosine of both sides. These cancel. A is equal to the inverse cosine of 0.63, 50.7 degrees. Does that even look right? So this is, does that look right? Yeah, that looks right. And then the third angle, how am I going to figure out the third angle? Autumn, how do I figure out the third angle? Um, well, Those two together, then subtract that from 180. Yep, exactly. 50.7 plus 34, 180 minus that. 
and I get 95.3. And then quick inspection, largest angle, longest side, smallest angle, shortest side, medium angle, medium side. So you can find sides or angles using the law of cosines. And you're really going to use the law of cosines if you're given a side, an angle, and a side, or if you're given side, side, side. There are four unknowns here. You have to have at least three of them.